Alright guys, in today's video, I want to talk to you about um, batch files, actually. Uh, I'm going to try to explain to you batch files as best as I can anyway. I don't have a ton of experience with them. But you see them in a lot of the exploits you use on your Android devices. Um, anytime you download an exploit and they have this little thing you click and you run it and it you know, roots your device or it does you know, install something, whatever it is, most of those are batch files. So here you can see on my device right here, this is a batch file right here. And you can see right here it says type Windows batch file. So they end in the extension of .bat. Now this is the batch file that I wrote up for my Tegra Note, actually right here, Tegra Note 7 Restore or Tegra Note 7 Super Tool that I've been uh, doing, So which is pretty fun. So I'm going to try to do my best to really kind of give you an idea of how these work and explain it to you. So if you download my super tool, this is what it's going to look like once you extract it. It's basically in a folder. I'll actually show you my, on my desktop right here. This is it. You click on it and you're in that folder. Okay. Pretty, pretty simple. Now I'm going to show you what happens when you run a batch file normally. You're going to basically get something kind of like this. And it's basically all automated and it does whatever I type in here and it's pretty cool and then it comes to options and you can unlock bootloaders and root it device install recoveries all that kind of fun stuff completely automated just by hitting numbers and watching it go on your screen um, which is really nice that's why they're they're so fun so uh, I'm gonna try to get into one and explain it to you so just so you guys know and you may not realize this that if you take a batch file and as long as you have the extension showing some Windows device uh, some Windows don't have that set up um, to show the the extension, I think you got to go into like here and go to I don't remember where it is folders and search options maybe I can't remember somewhere it'll show you the full file name which shows you the extension. So if you take this and you rename it, which is really simple here, and you just rename this to um, a different file extension of txt, which is a text file extension, and then go ahead and hit yes to change it and now it becomes a text document so when we click on a text document it opens up a text editor now this is my preferred text editor and it is notepad plus um, plus I do have it on my site actually here I'll show you where I've got it right now really quick my download page Android programs um, where is it at here this one right here NPP Installer that'll install Notepad plus plus for you if you want to download that. Um, pretty sweet. So here is the actual batch file. This is actually the whole list, all the commands right here, and it's broken down very simply. Um, and I'm gonna do my best, like I said, to walk you through the basic process of how this works. All right. Um, so basically, what it does is you just get all the commands all in here and just write them out, and it's very simple. You just reference exe files. So here's an exe file right here in the folder. Here's an exe file right there in the folder. And then the last exe file I reference is impactor exe file right there. All right. So all your commands are referencing those exe files. So the really deep, like down, dirty coding stuff is all done in the exe files already. It's already pre-done for you. All you're doing is you're calling out commands to those files, which makes it very, very simple. So let me try to explain it here. Basically, it starts up, and this is the main menu loop. So you, what you do is you set a couple prerequisites up here, which is echo off, and then this is actually a color, which is, I think, a, a green, a green color. OB is, I think, green. Um, and then it goes to the next thing, which is menu loop. So the first thing it does is it calls for the header. So then what you do is you find, see right here, this is a menu, menu one. You find something that's called the header. Well, my header's down at the bottom, actually, which is kind of funny. So right here, so the first thing it does is it prints, it does this. So it calls the header, and then it picks the color, which is actually, this one is actually orange. So you pick the color, and then anything that says echo, you can see all these things that say echo, actually is what's called a print. So it's going to actually show these things on the screen, which you saw when I ran that tool a little bit ago. All right, so anything that's in echo is going to be something that's going to be written on the screen. 
So the first thing I write actually is kill server start server, which is ADB. Um, so that ADB actually references over here, ADB EXE, and it, and it kills it and starts it to make sure you have a good server set up going right when you start the program. Then it goes to ADB devices, and what I do this for is just because I want to see if your device is connected right now, and it kind of gives you a quick indication of whether your drivers are installed correctly. Um, and then it, it waits for eight seconds right there, timeout for eight seconds, and then continues on to the next thing in our lineup at the top. So next thing in your line is um, set up some menus. So load your menu section, and here's your menus. So you got menu one, you scroll down, here's menu two, actually I think, yeah menu two right there and you know so on anything that's labeled menu it's going to pull that and it's actually gonna pull the whole string so you actually saw that too when I showed you the tool at the beginning and then it and then when you pick a menu you come back up here so it loads a menu right here this is what it's doing right here and then it calls for print status so what that actually is is at the bottom also which is right here print status and it basically just says this and has a line pretty pretty basic um, so then we'll see like for menu one I'm gonna walk you through the unlock bootloader one maybe just to give you an idea how this works so if you click one in the utility you're clicking this right here which is unlock your device so first thing it does is it gives you all these echoes well it sets color actually first which is green again and it gives you all these echoes right here all right, so it's going to read off all this information to you talking about it, and then it's going to also do well. It's actually going to go all the way to here, so it's also going to go do all that too. And then you basically press any key to continue. First thing it does is it waits for your device to connect, and once it's found, it, it tells you that the device is found with echo because you can see that line, and then it reboots ADB reboot bootloader. So it calls on this ADB exe right here. And then does the command of reboot bootloader. So then again, you got an echo with some information. Press any key to start. Once again, you have the uh, call out another command. So this would be fastboot exe, and the command is OEM unlock. So it's pulling on this exe over here and saying OEM unlock. So very cool. So we're in bootloader mode. You can see up here. Then it tells it to do an OEM unlock. Talks about that information. And then you says press any key to continue and goes to fastboot exe reboot and it'll reboot your device and you'll be uh, unlocked. So then just to walk through the script, it says again echo root junkie out and this has to do with setting your choices at the end of this of this script of this information on menu one um, and just tells you go to e o f and basically says call for choices is what this pretty much means so it brings you back to um, the beginning of the whole script and kind of restarts it all and there's color again and the end of that script right here so number two it's the same thing information color echoes commands and this is actually going to do restore and you can see right here it's got all these fast boot right here commands which is pretty cool actually if we go like that there you go so a bunch of fast boot commands so fast boot devices just tells you your device is working correctly is connected and then it gives you all these to flash and restore system image boot image and recovery image um, so really once you get like the feel for this thing you can kind of keep this stuff kind of generic down here at the bottom there's not really too much you have to mess with here this one's a little more specific because I then put at the end of flashing the new images I put in a choice here so I had to do a little bit of quick thinking here and then I put in a choice and then when it gets done flashing those instead of restarting the utility it goes to this right here and gives you another wipe menu so wipe data factor reset or option two no wipe and reboot device um, so and then the script totally finishes actually on here go to EOF and it starts the whole utility over um, really it's pretty pretty neat um, but this is really basic writing I mean you can see there's really not too much to this you're just doing a couple fast boot exe commands and ADB commands is all you're really doing 
um, and then echo for what you want the user to see so very very simple to do really fun I really enjoyed doing it when I this is my first utility I've ever made a lot of help from Matt Groff um, doing it and actually this is the best way to do it download something that's got a batch file in it click into it and see what it is I mean you know the other thing that's really cool that I could point out to you the thing that's interesting is right now you can see I have menus and my menus are in order this information but pretty much anything from here to where it says go to EOF that whole section could be at the top could be at the bottom it really doesn't matter because that's like one thing that's being called for so the order of it in this script really doesn't matter um, you know I could copy this whole thing cut it paste it at the bottom it, this utility would still run exactly the same because it's just looking for this information right here when it calls for all the menus um, so it doesn't really matter the order that it's in the script. So you may see scripts that are all unorganized looking and look terrible, but it works correctly because it really doesn't matter. That whole section is, you know, is good. So again, right to here is all, all one section. So or, or one, you know, process. I don't know how you want to call it. Uh, but anyway, this is pretty much what I got here. This thing's really fun. If you guys want to learn how to do some of these, they're very very simple, um, and you can do some really cool stuff with them. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this one out. When you're done messing with one, you can just come back in here, hit rename, take off the XT or TXT, and put the BAT back in it for the batch file extension. And now you can run it again, and you can see that you know it all functions correctly how you wanted it and test it out. So very cool. Um, let me show you one more though, just a simple one that I did. So I was working on recovery systems, and I was always pulling recovery logs. So right here, you can see this right here. It says pull recovery log.bat it's just me being lazy not even wanting to type in a simple little command so let me just show you this it's super simple so again we'll go rename txt all right and open it up boom this is it there's not much here adb devices i just like doing that anytime i do adb just because i like to see that it's communicating right um, and then adb pull slash temp slash recovery log that's where the recovery log is in most recoveries and you can pull that log and view how the recovery is working correctly or not or you got a bug or something like that um, but that's that's all it does this really quickly will if I'm in a recovery and I have it hooked up to my computer I tap this batch file and it pulls the log and I have it on my my folder I mean that's how simple they can be they can be this basic where it just does a couple commands you know you can maybe make one to you know pull your torp recoveries off your device to your computer once you make a recovery. So you make your recovery, anything in your Torp recovery folder, you just, it just pulls the whole folder or something. You could do different things like that. Um, just nice, easy, simple stuff. Um, but play with it. I mean, learn how to do a couple of ADB commands. And it's, it's pretty cool. So let me go ahead and rename this one really quick again. And uh, there we go. And now it's back to a batch file, which is pretty sweet. Now, if you guys don't know how to do any of the ADB or Fastboot EXE commands on your device, um, I would recommend checking this out, not just because it's my site, but I think there's pretty good information on it. This has to do with Fastboot and ADB setup, and um, talks about log cats, and then here's a huge list of commands, ADB shell commands, and uh, all kinds of stuff you can do with your device in ADB, which is Android debugging bridge, or USB debugging is what you have to have on on any of your Android devices to access it over this setup. Here's a couple of file, uh, videos I've already done on using ADB stuff. You might want to install the Android SDK, which is probably recommended if you're going to be doing this. Um, let me show you where mine's at really quick. Uh, development, there we go. So SDK, platform tools, and right here you can see this is where your main files you're going to need to do this, which is the, this file, this file, this file, and this file. These are basically your four files that you use whenever using ADB EXE or Fastboot EXE. And then obviously the drivers for your device need to be installed. So um, like I said, this is pretty cool. Uh, definitely been having a lot of fun running commands and accessing my device this way. I even just recently learned how to do ADB over your network, which is pretty neat. So I can do ADB um, connect the IP address of the device I'm connecting to and access it through Wi-Fi or anything on my network, which is pretty cool at my house. So there's some fun stuff you can definitely do with it. Um, so check it out. 
that's going to be it, guys, for my video here on batch files and kind of writing it. Hope this gave you at least kind of enough to get you maybe rolling in it and uh, get you interested in doing this. I think it's a lot of fun. I'm probably going to be doing more on it as I get some more devices and stuff, and especially the ones that don't have a lot of development on them. I like to do these and make batch files for people. It just makes it fun. So hope you guys like this video, and as always, Root Junkie out.